Cut in love with Pat's two cents. Father, I ask you to please anoint this illustration so we get this. Listen, a lot of times you think, okay, um, here you are trying to walk with God and you're, you're tripping over your own two feet. You just can't seem to get it right for getting it wrong. And you just know that you don't have many more chances left. And you're not playing games with God. You really, truly are out of control in one area or another. Well, but you're going to God every time with it. Saying, Lord, what's wrong with me? I'm so sorry. Please help me. I, I, I just, I just, I, I, I don't have control over my temper. I don't have control over the words that come out of my mouth. I fight it, but it happens anyway. God, please help me. Well, God knows when you're trying. He really knows more than you do when you're really, really trying. And this is what I want to share with you. A lot of times with our actions, our actions bring about consequences. And we think it's the punishment of God when it's not. Let me share this with you. This is an illustration. This is a wig. Now, imagine strands of hair are like a roof. The shingles are pointing downward. So if you run your fingers through it, you're not going to run into many kinks. You're going to always hit some. Because you see, there are irregularities. There are waves and dips and, 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 uh, and crevices. And what happens is, just like with curly hair, hair with texture, there are always going to be snarls in life. Always. You'll get a little kink or whatever. That happens in life, no matter how well you're walking with God. But listen, it comes with the territory. This is what happens when you go against God. Now, this is like illustrating like going with God. You see, I'm still getting some tangles. You get flat tires. The IRS comes after you. You forgot to pay a bill. Your lights get turned off. That, those are the kinks. You have problems in your marriage. You have emotional issues. Those are kinks. But this is what happens when you live a life that goes against God. I am going to go against the grain of this hair. You see what I'm doing? Look carefully now. You see what happens to the hair? What's happening? It's getting all bunched up because I'm going against the grain. Now, consider this uh, allowing too much sin in your life and being a little too comfortable with it. Now, you haven't totally backslidden now. You're just kind of getting a little too loose for your own good. You're praying and all of that. But you're not taking God as seriously as you should, which means respect, not dread, not fear, just respect. Now listen, what happens? Try to run your fingers through that. Life, I want you to hear the snap, crackle, pop. You hear that? Life is a lot more difficult, a lot more kinks. That's not the punishment of God. That's called the consequences of going against the grain. Now, I'm going to share something with you while you watch me detangle this. This is what we try to do. We try to straighten up our mess, don't we? Yep, we try to fix it and get it together and undo the damage that we've already done. <laughs> oh, we try so hard. And we do, you know, some, t oh, goodness. Okay, but you see what I mean? Now, it doesn't quite look the same as it did before, does it? It looks bushier. Well, that's because some damage has been done. But you look at the hair, where the hair is gone with the grain, and you run your fingers through it, and doesn't that look prettier? It's smoother. Life is smoother. Not without problems. Just smoother. Now, and when it's rough, like that piece of stuff that I messed up, when we get it together, God adds the water. God adds his mercy through the love of his Holy Spirit. And he helps you smooth things out. 
Now, some things you may have to live with for the rest of your life, like a child out of wedlock, like maybe a, a broken uh, part of your body. Maybe you got damaged because you got into a relationship that God clearly warned you not to get into, not only through his spirit, but by the words of your families and friends. You were warned not to get into that relationship, but you were so insistent on having that that person, that, that uh, uh, what do we call, um, oh, I can't even think of the word, but anyway, our little sweetheart, we just had to have them. And now that we have what we ask for, we end up damaged. Not always God's punishment. Oftentimes, a simple case of consequence. Like I said, God is not a can of raid waiting for you to make the first little mess, mess up. No, that's not God, the way God loves. But he gave us freedom of choice. And he will not go against what he gave us. So when we make the wrong choice, there are times that wrong choice goes with us for the rest of our lives. Some of you men, God may be telling you don't go into the service. Something simple and noble and you think, oh, well, you know, I'm doing this for my country. But God might be telling you not to because he has other plans. And it does not include the military. Because if you get into the military, God sees down the road. And he sees that you will end up being a paraplegic or a quadriplegic. Because of something that's going to happen to you just by being there. Now, that's not God punishing you. That's a decision you had the freedom to make. But it was outside of God's plan. So... It went against the grain. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help you understand how life works and how God works with our lives. When I had a car and we only had one day, we had to wait a day to get it insured, but we had a lot of runs to make. So we figured, well, what's one day? And while my ex-husband was at work, I'm driving the car around, just sharing you how life works. I'm living holy. I got a great relationship with God. And as a result, I'm feeling trepidation all day long. Not that he's angry with me. I'm knowing with the feeling of trepidation. I have a knowing that there's an accident that's got its aim on me, a car accident. So... I'm being extra careful, but I'm still going out. Now, I ended up in an accident where a guy hit me. I had the right of way. He totaled my car and had not a dime nor insurance. We lost a $3,500 car that we only had for one day. We paid cash because he came into an inheritance. The problem with that is it took me five years of wondering why, how could God allow? I'm, I'm walking with him. Lord, I love you. I, I've been serving you. I didn't run away from you. I didn't walk. How could you allow that to happen? Now, you, you did take care of me. You didn't let me get hurt. You didn't let my passenger get hurt. Thank you for that. But why did you let that happen? What did he tell me? He said, everything I did, I warned you. Every close call, three close calls you had, that was me warning you. That feeling of trepidation, that was me warning you. But you kept praying and you kept driving. You kept driving. And you kept driving. And you kept driving. And you kept driving. And you kept driving. Boom! That was not my punishment. That was not my anger. That was not me. That was what I gave you the warning to stop you from driving that day. Do you understand me? That's what life, 
Life has things, trips, potholes, and God does everything he can to help us avoid. But if we are dull of hearing spiritually, if we're so caught up in what we're doing, we don't even acknowledge him. I didn't acknowledge him. I was praying. I was praying my heart out. But I never acknowledged him. I said, Lord, protect us. We rebuke accidents in the name of Jesus. No, if God be for us, who can be against us? I quoted the word. I did everything I could except obey the warning that God gave me. We will learn as we go through life that a lot of the consequences we suffer from are not God's wrath. Just part of life and the choices we make that go against the grain. And things get knotted up in our lives and we're just dumbfounded. Now what do we do? Like a baby sitting in a diaper all wet and all wet on ourselves. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. But God in all his love and mercy still blesses us. Still blesses us. It's not a punishment. I didn't have a car. But my relationship with God was just as strong. He just chalked it up to the same old thing he said in the Bible down through the ages. We have this treasure in an earthen vessel. And God knows it so much more than we do. God bless you as you learn. And as I learn, because <laughs> it's a, an ongoing learning process, God bless you as you learn to hear from God, as you learn to line up with him and get in sync with his rhythm, with his pad, with his plan, with the paths he has in front of us, with your destiny. God bless you to fall into as few of potholes as possible to have as fewer kinks in your life as possible. God bless you with supernatural wisdom, insight, discernment, safety. In the name of Jesus. But don't blame God. And don't be afraid of him. His love will keep you even when life traps you and you go for it. Oops. <laughs>